Money, power, respect. Three the hard way. Welcome back to Three the Hard Way TV with the beautiful Brittany. Real over here. I'm Dion. Y'all be sure to hit that subscribe button for your chance to win that official 3 to Hallway TV merchandise and get this video a thumbs up and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and tell your mama. Um, on today's show, we have an email <laughs> coming in and the email starts off with, hi, I have a couple of questions for the gentleman of 3 to Hallway TV. We got the beautiful Brittany here, so she's going to um, go. I'm just here up. so I won't get fined. <laughs> Murders in our community have have always bothered me. The murder, the number of black men killing each other over the years have been alarming and heartbreaking. Question one, what do you guys think of the alarming murder rate that's occurring in Chicago? I'll, I'll go with the next questions after we answer this. The alarming murder rate that's going on in Chicago? It's a lot of dumbass niggas here. True that. <laughs> We, we are in Chicago, and I'm just going to leave this motherfucker off with this a lot of dumbass niggas here. That's, so, that's so it. ignorance is an excuse? No, 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 ignorance is not Okay, an okay, excuse. so she asks you, you know what? Reasons, so. what? What do I think about the uh, mm -hmm. alarming murder race in Chicago? Okay, first of all, I'm going I'm to go a little deep on this one. Um, Chicago is, is kind of fucked up with as far as money goes because the, the mayor... Uh, the mayor now, Rahm Emanuel, and the mayor before him, the previous mayor, Mayor Daly. Um, they cut like all at school programs, all the funding for uh, sports, all the funding for free food, all of this different stuff. They just taking this stuff away from people. And they not realize, you know, they're trying to gentrify the west side of Chicago. They, they basically want to take it back and bring in, a, make it predominantly white like it once was back in the 40s and 50s and things like that. Those people packed up and moved out and they went to the suburbs. But once you take away people's, uh, the way they were used to things, all of these programs, all these fundings for after school, all of this help that people was getting, once you take that away, it creates a wave of crime where people just lose their fucking minds and they just start doing stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Robbing for cell phones and uh, snatching whatever they can snatch, busting out car windows and, and taking uh, the, the change out of your center console. We need more help in the city and I, you know, in the black community and the Hispanic community, we need more help because it's causing these young guys and these young girls to go out here and commit crimes because they feel like they need that money to provide for themselves and they got nowhere to go. True. I agree with that, that they uh, feel like that. Another big thing that happened in Chicago, I feel, was when they got rid of the project housing. Exactly. All those buildings full of gangs had to come somewhere in the city. So mm -hmm. now you got two different gangs that's and you know, in the same block, block, in the same area. And now you know it's going to be violence. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, when we was younger, you had people who was running the block. They had to pay rent for the block. You couldn't make a move without somebody telling you. Now people, because all the gangs mixed, nobody cares. They're killing up everybody. There's no rules to anything, so on top of that, and they tore those housing buildings down to put those uh, privileged people yeah. in those areas. In those areas. Another thing that always uh, bothered me about this question when they say like the black on black crime, anywhere it's a concentrated amount of people, white people, Chinese people, anywhere, you gonna get a lot of debt on that crime. Like people always say black on black crime. And it's a, it's a fact that more white people kill, kill more white, white people in America. It's just more publicized with black people. Exactly. Like, how is it that in the black community is so many people being killed, but our pol our neighborhoods are policed the most? You know, because they publicize that we don't want to kill each other. And our neighborhoods are policed by other people, by people other they than the people in, that live in that community. In, in that community. Other races. And then... We already know a lot of them coming from single single parent homes, so that a lot of the dads are locked up. So these boys just run around in the street, you know, doing what they want to do. And people, it's like a rat race. If I can't get it, I'm gonna take it. Exactly. How do you feel about it, Lady Bree? As a mother, <laughs> a raising a black man. Okay, let me give y'all my synopsis on this. So what I'm going to say, like both of you guys made very, very lucrative and valid points, like kudos. But I want to say the you have to get to the root 
it's, it's so many pillars to as to why things are happening the way they are but I believe the root cause of this is all about one word and I'm just gonna sum it up with respect there is no respect for humankind there's no respect for each other as well as there's no respect for ourselves we have broken homes we have like you said with the with the with the projects and gangs and you know people having some type of order but we do have a lot of families there are single families there is no male figure to show as to what a pose a man should and could be and yes those programs that were once were were of to be of an assistance but as everything happens when things come easy people tend to abuse those things instead, instead of using those as helping crutches and not this is my way of life some people will just come subject to that. They just, they, they cool with that. Like, I don't know a person who has been in the workforce and used to doing certain things and then, you know, unfortunate things happen and they don't have the, the magnitude to like, I want to get out there back. And they, they comfortable with sitting around waiting on the check. They comfortable with sitting in public aid office. They, they comfortable. And that's just the whole thing. And again, that is re lack of respect. Respect for yourself. That you don't want to be an upstanding person. And I think that's all just within, you know, self-esteem. And then, you know, people have mental issues. So many issues that we have in our minority community that goes turned away from. Goes shadow because that is not what we was taught from generations and generations. Like, oh, men don't cry. Uh, you know, they don't do this. They don't do that. Black people don't go get help. Pet people, you don't want people to think that you're crazy. And what happens in this house stays in the house. There's so many things that have been driven and driven and driven. And that it just it, it just affects a whole race of people. So I'm just going to definitely say starting with respect. And everybody wants their lick back when it comes to anything. Like you said, it's a rap race. Oh, if, I, if, I, if, if mama can't do it, daddy can't do it, I'm going to do it I'm, do it myself. And it's that instant gratification that Wait, these what? young people are used to. And they don't they don't know. They don't know. The mechanics of shit. They don't know how shit is fucking earned. They just think shit is automatic. My son is one too. So I'm not going to say he's exempt. He thinks that houses are supposed to come with cable. He thinks that certain things that he's been blessed with. Isn't automatic. And that's definitely not true. Because we try so hard to get the things that we lack thereof. But I appreciate the things that I didn't have. Or times when my parents told me no now. Than I did when I was growing up. Simply because now that I know the efforts that was put behind that. And it's always bigger than than, than what it is. So it's so many pillars where we can go with, uh, you know, black on black crime yeah. and, uh, and whatever. We and, and the media, they're driven to do just, just right. that. They're driven to do just that. So I can't blame them for their job. But at the same time, we give them things to talk about. And... Money is a big issue, but it's not the issue. Okay. But another issue before we move on forward that I feel is it's like a huge part of question. Okay. okay, we gonna get to the next. I feel there's a huge thing in the, in our community, and I'm not gonna speak for the Hispanic community, nobody else, for the black community is that if we got, let's just say, little Tommy, little Tommy good at basketball, we like, oh my God, he gonna make it to the NBA. This look, this, look, this next question gonna go could probably go into saying. what you're saying. So let me say okay, it first okay. and then you can go ahead. Okay, question two is, what do you... <laughs> what do you make... I, I don't know how to say what she's trying to say, but what can you do to make your community safer, basically? Okay. Um, I'm going to just get that point because it, it might not lead to it, but I'm going to get that point I was thinking. So... And then when we go to that, so I think, you know, Lil Tommy, like, and this is how he is. Lil Tommy, he good at basketball. We all out there like, man, dude going to the NBA. We do whatever to try to push him to the NBA, right? But then you got Joy over here who might be straight A student, smart, could get in any school. We don't praise him. So in our community, we think you go shoot a ball, throw a ball, or become a rapper for the guys. And if they don't, what's the next thing they look at? The drug dealers. So they trying to get that fast thing. And it's just like I always say this. If your son play football, you can put him in little league football. He can play high school football. He can go to college and play football. But if your son tell you want to be an astronaut, when can he start being an astronaut? At the high school. 
So he has no groundwork. He just wasted 12 years of nothing to be to he want to become something that he know nothing about until he grown. And now he look back and like, oh, I come from the hood. I can't afford to do this or do that because we're going to praise that. They praise the other thing. Now, the thing about making our community safer is one thing that I think divided the black community big is a church on every block. That's just what I feel. It's too many churches, right? That's division in itself. If you go to St. Thomas Baptist, he go to the Lutheran church over here and I go to them. Why can't it be one church for one neighborhood? Bring all those people together, right? Instead, you got 40 churches in one one zip code. That's dividing the people right there, right? And then I'm, I'm not a big person on church, but I always say, if church was so impactful, why not take it to the streets in these hoods? Like, the streets, right? We weren't born in the 60s or whatever, but from what I see and what people say, you know, it was one church and the church was in a community and everybody went. That's the same thing we need now. Instead, everybody go to this grocery store. That Nobody know each other. You live on a block with 20 people, you might only know two of them. That's, right. that's where it started. That we don't know each other. We don't even care to know each other. I'm worried about my life and my household. Skip everybody else. What can we do to make it safer? You got one more question. Um, hmm. We need our black men back. We, we definitely do. Like they are locked up, caged animals, you know, for different mistakes that they've made. And I think if certain things are just exemplified and shown and someone have something to be a carbon copy of or just, you know, a go to then besides the athletes, besides the rappers, because that's that's what's driven to them all day. Mm -hmm. That's what they see all day. They don't see. Oh. I seen my daddy get up and go to work today. I seen my daddy do it. You have look, and I'm not saying that this is for every black home. My kids do. I'm just saying my kids do. Yes, yeah, one of few, one of me, of many few. I'm just saying it should be more like you. Yep. That's you, what I'm saying. You, you watch she you asking, go to work every day She asked. <laughs> <laughs> That's his story. He won't be back no more. Can't stop your daddy. <laughs> So, so again, a lot of a lot of those uh, those young minds and, and and kids are sponges. Kids are very impressionable, and they just soak everything in. So they're gonna mimic what they see. They're gonna mimic what someone does, and that's that's who all we have now. Because you have a single mother that that is pro trying to work two or three jobs to put some on the table to to be this quote unquote pro black independent, and we got. YouTube and we have social media and we have television that's raising our babies because we can't be the nurturing people because guess what we got to go get that bacon because a man that don't work don't eat and ain't no man in this house so the one man has to do what she got to do so do you think let me ask you a question do you think it was an agenda to drive the black man out of the black home absolutely yeah, to a certain extent, I do because you know you have you have programs where people that I would love to elect to be one Section Eight shout out. First off, jail, child support. First off, jail, then second, child support, then third, third is Section, Section eight. eight. But again, even if we rewind all the way back there, and I know that everybody, that just why you know the men needs to kind of like mature a little bit faster because I know we don't always know what the future may hold but you got to be very selective on who you have kids with that's true and 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 if you see certain type of behavior that's so true so yeah. true <laughs> <laughs> but and if you see certain things like if you can't take two seconds and say damn i can see her having my kid not because her ass fat and i'm sleeping this pussy like that can't be your mindset it oh, just okay i think it just went off no, I didn't. Okay. Um, let, let me answer the question. God damn it. Shit. Shit, y'all. He asked me a question. Let me speak. Let him speculate. See? And it's whining ass <laughs> shit. That's, that's one thing. Come on, brother Deacon. Okay. What we can do to make the community healthy is accountability. Safer. Account or? Accountability and respect. Definitely. 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 Those, 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 are, those are two things. Like, no one, you don't respect the old lady down the street no more. These men aren't respecting, these kids aren't respecting women. These kids are just using profanity all up and down the street. Like back in the day when we was coming up, 
It didn't even matter who it was. You show respect. You didn't curse. You didn't use profanity. Those right. sort you of things. You did your shit in the back that, of the bus. There, there was no accountability. Mm -hmm. Meaning, there was accountability. Now, there isn't any mm -hmm. at all. You know what I'm saying? So, we just got to be. It takes a village. Definitely. You know, we, we are not a community anymore. Everybody's is one for all and all for one. Right, you know because you have those homes up. Oh, don't say nothing to my motherfucking kids. Them exactly. my, you ain't got to listen to nobody. And they ain't your mama. All that type of shit. Because so, I'm bringing back, the back, back in the day, motherfuckers used to tell on you. So look, Hell I'm, yeah, because you your, 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 your daddy come to the crib. Oh, man, D, I'm down the street throwing rocks. You can get your ass whooped. Exactly. <laughs> or, or the parents actually going out. Say if you dipped off the motherfucking block and you done come your ass back, everybody like, oh boy, your mama looking for you. Exactly. Ain't no mama's going to look for no motherfuckers. They waiting on the phone call. Because yeah, they in the house rolling the blunt waiting on you to come in so they can smoke with you. <laughs> Ten five. But let's go to the third question. What was the third question? The third question is, do you think a woman only silent demonstration? What? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Women would express their love and support to their broken boys and men in lost cities, hot spots. Have face based individuals and reform gang members on board to serve as mentors to these individuals would be helpful. I think at the end of the day, if you can show individuals that there's another road to achieving, achieving success, you can persuade. Some to change their lives. What are your thoughts? I'm, I'm just gonna understand. I'm, can't, she's basically saying. I know what um, she's basically saying. <laughs> can, can you get people that fucked up to mentor these younger kids now to, you know, basically steer them in the right direction? And I absolutely agree because Definitely. because you you learn the most. By you learn experience. the most from a motherfucker who is experiencing something because once they tell you their stories, you can be like, okay, that's not the road I want to go down. But you know again. What I'm saying? That, that's that's why I never choices. went to jail because my uncles always was tell me the but jail stories, people, and I'm just like that shit. Most people, me. like anybody, they don't be, they believe half of what they hear and most of what they see. Exactly. So those people have to actually be proactive doing it, like already in that role of doing it. Right. And, uh, a lot not, of times, not on scare straight in a jumpsuit exactly. trying to tell you. Because a lot of times, oh, change your life. Yeah. Don't end up like me. Right. That that that's work. not gonna work. Because you that's tell not baby, gonna work. Don't hey, touch hey, the eyes. My, my favorite one good is good that too. motherfucker with. <laughs> I was waiting on you at the dock. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Because you ain't you ain't cute. Your hair ain't even. You yeah, look ugly. Good. You look dusty. <laughs> Classic shit, bro. Right. <laughs> and they put the black, the black ones on there. Yeah, yeah I mean, just fucked them up. That, that, I, feel like, I feel like that could help, but I, I think it's a little deeper than that, man. Like me personally, like I look at communities, right? Because I moved from Chicago to Wisconsin, and then I moved to Arizona. I don't really think it's a such thing as a black community. Like they say that, but this is why I don't believe it. Cause in what I consider a community is break right, it down. We break on, it down. We on the stores. We on the houses. We Absolutely. on the schools. We on the banks. Right. The root word is unity, and we're There's, not unified. Right. So we are black people, and I'm not racist. We black people that live in a white man community. That's why you said earlier they coming to take it back. They are trying to take the West Side back. Cause we don't own it. If we owned it, it would be a black community. It would be impossible to move us. Exactly. So. That's why I think it started. Like it's so deep. Like our parents ain't on us, so who showed us how to own it? So maybe we grew up and owned some. But that guy who owned some, that's why those black people move out to them neighborhoods and people say, Oh, he's from 16, but he whitewashed. No, he's trying to get away from this because if he builds something here, y'all don't own on here, so y'all go tear his shit down. And that's 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 I, I And we are I, and we are takers. We are not gonna even uplift and bring because they're also Stigmatism that's put on us. Oh, that's why I don't deal with black people. They unprofessional. They this, they that. You were talking about a, a race of people that's cultivated this beautiful motherfucking country that we yeah, fucking live exactly. in. But you get, but you're gonna tell me that's why you know it's unprofessionalism and everything. But this is what they want you to do. If they drive so much negatives, it's impossible for you to see the positive. Just like every day, you can, you, you, you can go, agenda. even just you hitting the floor in the morning, you think about, oh, I gotta deal with this traffic. 
I gotta get in this motherfucking car. It's cold outside. You just talked about 80,000 things before you even said one thing. Some people didn't even make it to even get up that morning. Some people can't even get up to move their own land. They gotta wait on somebody else to move them. It's just like you, you hey. let your bad or whatever's negative outweigh everything that's possibly good. And that's what we were having. I have a good day till it's time to come home. That traffic of motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I just, I'm just, I know that I just saying, checked like, the bag. My whole day be so great until it's time to go home. But absolutely, we need we need more help. We need more programs. We need these men that are around to be men to help these the youth out. And we need like like right. you say to take the negative out of it. Like he say, we need more unity. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. We should yeah, gotta, you, we you, we have to stick together because that's what we're not doing. Yeah. That, that's it. And we don't need no other race to come in and do it for us. It had to start with us because that's what typically happened. Somebody from another race come in and try to unite some stuff. And then to I, piggyback I, on what you said um, when you were talking about um, us all. Fucking, I forgot. I, I I just I like what I Keep like. Talking, I, yeah, what, I what I what I like right now, you know, because we gonna go ahead and wrap this up. But what I like, <laughs> what I like, what I'm seeing right now is from like the uh, Jedediah and the, um, and Chance the Rapper, Love Chance, and, and, and Derrick Rose. You know, and even when Joe Kim Noah was here, they were doing positive things for black people. You know what I'm saying? Creating some sort of unity for people. You know what I'm saying? And and Chance the Rapper still doing big things. So. Yes, we we Again, will we because, will get it together because he's seen certain things amplified from his parents mm -hmm. and for and grandparents and things like that, and that's what we need somebody to show that. And I'm definitely chance for president, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Well, we thank you for the question, young lady. You know what I'm saying? And we sitting here, three black people, and we sticking together. You know what I'm saying? We might have to. I might have to. Hit Britney upside of shit when the camera goes off. Why would she do well, that? Well, we gonna, we gonna hug it out. <laughs> See, black on black shit. That domestic violence. All that type of shit that we've experienced. I blame child support. <laughs> <laughs> but thank y'all for watching. Y'all be sure to hit that subscribe button. Keep it positive. Peace. Three. Threes. Love Thank us, you we love you too. And Shout out to my haters. motherfucking haters. Hey, I love you motherfuckers, okay? And I know y'all see the ladies looking good in them three to highway TV hey, shows. Three. <laughs> the highway T. Y'all hit that subscribe button for y'all chance to win official three to hallway TV gear. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to make those shirts look as good as the ladies got them looking. Oh, <laughs> shout out to the stylist. Yeah. Money, power, respect. Three the hard way. A man tell you he don't want a baby and you go get pregnant. Is you responsible for that baby? Oh Steve? my god, I hate that fucking question. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Is what? If, you, if, I, if I mess with a girl and I tell her I don't want no babies and she have a baby, am I responsible for the baby? You shouldn't be. <laughs> the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Fuck out of here. You shouldn't be. You, you, you laid it out First already. of all, I don't even feel that that part should even be vocal when you can just put on a fucking rubber. The rubber bus and she still get it. No, well, if the rubber bus is on the that's on you. That's, that's a, no. No, because ain't no motherfucker rubbers that busting that that bitch dry. That, that pussy shouldn't be so good. Because <laughs> <laughs> you want to sleep in it and leave your motherfucker 23 crumbs. So. Backstroke. All that this shit. Okay, here we go. That's why kids <clears throat> one parent homes now. What up, YouTube? Welcome back to 3 The Hard Way TV. We got the beautiful Brittany. Real over here. I'm Dion. Y'all be sure to hit that subscribe button to get this video a thumbs up. That three to highway TV giveaway is in full effect. You know, leave those comments, whatever. However you gonna do it, and we gonna, huh? Can I cut? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so why are you that in uniform? Did you introduce him a special guest? No, I'm a special guest. I'm the producer, executive. Exactly. So why the fuck is he not in uniform? I'm gonna do the uniform next. Let's keep going. Then we're gonna switch seats. Okay. Jesus Christ. <coughs> yeah, this is the fucking hypocrisy. <coughs> what up, YouTube? Welcome. You never wanted me no shirts. <laughs>
Yeah, I did not. He like surprises us just come back. But I'm gonna yeah. start over. Okay, okay thank surprise. you. Oh, what up, you? Oh, 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 I'm like the RVP. I just came in. The RVP. He could just be a special guest. I ain't oh, special okay. guest. <laughs> she a special, special guest tonight. <laughs> you a special guest tonight. <laughs> What up, YouTube? That's why I'm on here. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all done? Are y'all done? Come on now. Take 56. All right, come on, Joe.